Hello and welcome back. So today we're going through more stuff that's been kindly sent into the PO box. I've got a massive bag of items that I picked up having not been able to get to the post, off, uh, post office depot for a month. So I've got a fair few videos to make. Those that are interested, that is the address. You can send uh, your letters in and don't feel obliged to send me items or gifts. I'm more than happy just receiving a letter from you. It does totally make my day reading your messages. Uh, if you enclose an envelope with your address and a stamp on it, I'll be sure to reply at some time, but I have got a bit of backlog that I need to get through in terms of my replies. If you go to the links to write me a letter, feel free to plug your YouTube, your social media, your Discord, whatever it is. I'm more than happy to give you a bit of a plug if you go to the links to write me a letter. But without further ado, we've got this one first. Look at those stamps. Very cool. So I collect stamps as well, as many of you do know. So the cool stamps, they get kept in my collection. So it says to Christopher, first of all, thank you so much uh, for my letter and coins. I'm also wearing my magnanimity badge proudly. Of course, at the moment, it is not a particularly easy time for everyone due to, yeah, uh, I have, I hope you and your, your family stay well and safe. We were in Hastings for a weekend because we had some um, decorating of the house. Ah, this was just before the lockdown. Anyone who's been to the old town will know that there are so many antique shops. While well, I was looking through one of them, I found a set of UK coins from the best year possible, the 1970 pre-decimal set. This was rare because it was the last set of pre-decimal and all the coins are in AFC, NIFC. Better still, we got it for £15. Wowee. Um, if you can, you should visit Hastings. I think you would love it. Of course, after yeah after the situation i've had my birthday during lockdown so have i <laughs> 7th of april not fun but it's better we stay indoors exactly well, i hope you had a fantastic birthday i've sent you some territories coins a 1900 german 10 fennig and a royal mint postcard enjoy them and if you're fine with writing back that would cheer me and my mum a lot uh kind regards william hodds p.s stay safe and well oh wow look at these then well, thank you very much for those, William. That's very, very cool of you. We've got a postcard which um, uh, says he thinks that the... Well, I'll read what it says. I heard about the postcard challenge might go on again, and if not, enjoy this postcard as a token of my appreciation for keeping me and my mum entertained during lockdown. Hoping you're well, William Hodd. So yes, definitely, William. That'll go into my pile of postcards that have already come in. I haven't actually started my next PO box postcard giveaway, but I'm hoping to do one very, very soon. So thank you very much for all of them. Oh, I didn't see these that have spilt out. Some very cool pre-decimal coins. Sixpence is my favourite pre-decimal coin as well. Thank you very much for them. That's very, very kind of you. Next up, we have this one, which has got an Irish. One of these sort of um, labels you can get from the post office for the post service. It says, hi, Christopher. Thank you for your hard work. Uh, on, with your channel. Uh, I'm a long-term viewer and thought I would send you something for your collection. I've enclosed a few pennies I had from the year 2000, some stamps I've been keeping to send to you and Caledonian coins, three commemorative two euro coins from Ireland, Hi uh, Hibernia, 100th anniversary Easter rising, Stickman, anniversary of the euro coins, and Dale, 100th anniversary first sitting parliament. Wow. Uh, you've inspired me and many others to start our own YouTube channels. I'm moving from Ireland to Edinburgh in July, so I look forward to doing some UK hunts too. Top of the morning to you. Cheers. Pass the poplars. Oh, I know pass the poplars. I've been. Uh, I just gave you trading rights on a Discord server. A coin raider. Please give me a plug. There you go. YouTube channel to go check out. Coin raider. Well, thank you so much for your letter. And look at this. Got some beautiful stamps. Queen Mother. Isle of Man. The TT. I don't know. Ooh. Some whales. Oh, these are stunning. Unbelievable. Thank you very much for them. There's the pennies from the year 2000. So the pennies from the year 2000 I'm collecting for my world record attempt. Get the most coins from the year 2000. The ones that come into the PO box go into this lovely money box that the very kind Caledonian coin sent to me. 
So in they go. Thank you very much. And your name will go on the appreciation board. So massive thank you for them. And we've got the commemorative euros. Or euros. Look at that. What a beauty. Oh, we've got it upside down. Wow. Well, they're awesome. Thank you so much for them. Next up, we have a postcard. Look at all these stamps. How cool are they? Comes from J. Peters. And I put that in the pile of postcards that I've got for my next postcard giveaway. We've got this letter next, and we've got a really interesting looking stamp. Oh, it's an album. Oh, it's Elton John. There we go. That's amazing. Thank you for that stamp. That's beautiful. It says, Dear Christopher Collects, My name is Ross. Your videos are the best because they are interesting and full of useful facts. Well, thank you very much. That's very kind. Uh, I am Team Tower, Paddington 50p. All the best people are Team Tower. So thank you very much. Um, uh, do you mind if I ask a few questions? If you said yes, then thank you very much. What 50p is your favourite? That would be Isaac Newton. Uh, which two pound is your favourite? Um, Frankenstein is my favourite coin, UK coin ever, so this, that's that. But in terms of circulating two pound coins, Florence Nightingale. Which foreign coin is your favourite? I like American state quarters, and I've got a little pinch, a little, a, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? I've got a, um, a soft spot for um, Canadian coins because of my Canadian heritage. Uh, may the force be with you, and have luck on your next time. Well, thank you so much for your letter, Ross. That's very, very sweet of you. Next up, we have this letter. It says, Dear Christopher, I am an 11 year old boy and I absolutely love coin collecting and watching your amazing videos on coin collecting. Thank you. Every day after a long day of school, I come in, grab a snack and watch your videos. I have lately been binge watching, binge watching your PO box openings and the two pound coin hunts. I've already watched most of the 50 pence hunts and I, I, oh, I was just as excited as you when you found the Q Gardens 50 pence and the Jemima Puddock 50p in one hunt. That was, oh, that was such a hunt. I still go back and watch. That's one of the only videos of mine that I still go back and watch from time to time. I collect 50 pence and two pound coins, including many other coins such as silver coins, banknotes and pre-decimal coins. My favourite design is Florence Nightingale two pound coin. What's yours? Uh, well, very similar to yours. I love the Florence Nightingale two pound coin too. Uh, I have been collecting coins for a couple of years and have got, have even got a King James Bible two pound coin. Wow, nice find. Uh, your videos have taught me a lot about coin collecting. I have enclosed um, some coins and stamps as a token of my gratitude, and I think you will, uh, that, that I think you will like. There are some pennies from the year 2000. Thank you. Uh, some foreign and British uh, stamps and a mystery coin pack. Would it be possible for you to send me any spare two pound coins or 50 pences? I'd really appreciate it. I have some questions for you. Do you collect pre decimal coins? Yes, I will collect any coins I can lay my hands on. Is the 2016 Britannia two pound worth much? Uh, a little bit, uh, three to four pounds. Do I collect banknotes? Some people have been very kind and sent banknotes into the PO box and I've got a little collection from that, but uh, I don't seek them out myself. But I do keep the ones that were sent in, so thank you. I uh, thank you very much for reading my letter and keeping the good work finding rare coins. I hope you can write back, but I understand if you can't. Kind regards, Jack. Well, I'll definitely write back. It just might take me some time. We've got some pennies from the year 2000. We'll get them in the pot. Oops, last one in. Thank you. Here are the stamps. I recognise that one. Beautiful. I like these sort of single, they're just like one colour stamps. I think they're beautiful. Look at that striking orange. Oh, look at that. Malta, Churchill, Jubilee. One of the Queen's palaces, I think. Look at that, beautiful colours on that one. Jersey. A couple of paintings. Very cool, thank you so much. Mystery bag. Ali Toledo, that's a lot of coins. What have we got then? Sixpence. Canadian, uh, Belgian, look at that, Canadian one dollar, it's a loony isn't it, 
There's loonies and toonies. Wow. Well, these are absolutely way. Come back. A 10 Canadian cent. Wow. These are beautiful. Thank you so much for all of these. So these go into my big uh, box of coins and my treasures from the PA box, which I'm slowly working my way through doing. Uh, they will be featured in one of those videos at some point in the future. So thank you very much for all these amazing coins. They're absolutely beautiful. We'll go into more detail on them in a future video. Thank you so much. Next up, we have this gray bag. Mm. It's a Mr. Collect, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Look at that. How cool is he? It says, uh, dear Christopher Collects, um, to start off, I just want to say thank you for providing everyone with such amazing videos. I think what you're doing is great and inspirational. Thank you. Uh, every day, I will at least watch two of your videos. I find them so entertaining and fun. Always wondering what coins you will find next. A cue, hopefully. Uh, I have given you a few little treasures and a coin to sign and send back. Uh, there is also a coin down below. Churchill, very cool. Uh, 1965 silver half crown commemorative so Winston Churchill's to uh, death but still a cool, cool coin it definitely is it definitely is we've got a postcard that'll be entered into the for the next postcard giveaway so a massive thank you for them hope you like the penguin the penguin was very cool uh, my huge name on you is Elks Niff oh I know Elks a regular viewer of the um, live streams so thank you for sending that holy Tadida look at what we've got uh, could you sign this 50p and send it back? Yes, I, the only ones I won't sign and send back are Benjamin Bunnies because they go out into the wild. Christopher Collect, your 2,000 pennies. Thank you very much. Let's get the pennies into the pot. Oh, he doesn't want to go in, does he? There he goes. Well, thank you for them. But we're not done. Holy Toledo, look at all these. Uh, some foreign coins with animals. I know you like animals on coins. I do. Oh, I'm getting stuck on some sellotape here. I love animals on coins. We've got a whole range of different coins here. Wowee. Well, thank you so much for them. They're beautiful. And some old British coins. Wow, look at them. With a silver one as well. That's very, very kind of you. Very generous. Thank you so much. Um, it says, I have been collecting coins for as long as I can remember and have a lot of Olympics. I also found an 1843 gold sovereign. Wow. In my, I, oh, you have one in your, you have one in your collection. It's worth 500 pounds, holy Toledo. Uh, so I hope you enjoy these coins. Oh, and the 2000 pennies for your collection. All the best, happy hunting, Finn. Aged 12, ah, not 20,000, <laughs> 200,000. P.S. I hope you find your cue soon. Your coin, Christopher Collects, World's biggest year 2000 penny collection 2020. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for your letter, that's awesome. Next up we have this one that's got some cool drawing on the back. Looks like a Kew Gardens to me. And that... Hmm. Is it Britannia? I think it's Britannia. It says, Hi Christopher, my name is Andrew, I'm 11 years old and I live in Perth, Scotland. I started collecting 50p commemorative coins at the start of 2020 and I already have 30 coins in my collection. My rarest coin is Olympic Pentathlon, that's awesome, very, very nice coin to have. Uh, me and my sister go through £20 a month of 50ps and at the end of the bag, at the end of the last bag I found an Olympic Pentathlon. I've already got nine Olympic coins. They are pentathlon, sailing, cycling, fencing, equestrian, boxing, aquatics, and archery. I really like your YouTube channel. Me and my sister watch almost all your videos because I think they're awesome. Uh, thank you. Um, me and my sister have searched through some coins, but we've only found four year 2000 coins. I've also included a color cue cards that I made and colored it. Ah. Oh. oh, I see. We've got another letter here. It says, hi, Christopher. I really love your channel and you inspired me to do a coin collection. I already have 2150p's after collecting for three months. The rarest um, coin I have is Olympic tennis, which I already had before I started collecting. We've got you two 2000 pennies, which hopefully will help you with your world record. We also got you a coin we dug up from our garden. <laughs> it is a one penny from the year 1934. Yes, holy Toledo. 
uh, I was thinking maybe you could do Christopher Collects the Movie about all the people who were on 50p's and go back in time and meet them. <laughs> about all the people on 50p's, go back and meet them. Uh, these are the coins I have. Benjamin Bunny, Jeremy Fisher, NHS Girl Guide in Commonwealth Games, Paddington at St Paul's, Olympic Cycling, Aquatics, Canoeing, Archery, Tennis, Paddington at the Palace and the Tower, Victoria Cross Heroic Act, People Act, Roger Bannister, Sherlock Holmes, Dictionaries, Peter Rabbit 2016, Mrs Tickerwinkle and the Tale of Peter Rabbit. From Josie, Asian Animal. Thank you so much for your letter, Josie. Doesn't that sound awesome? Christopher collects the movie. <laughs> Look at that. Dug up from your garden. How cool is that? Well, thank you so much for that. That's awesome. It's seen better days, hasn't it? But if it's buried in your garden, you can understand why. There we go, there the coins from the year 2000. We'll pop them into the pot, so thank you. And then here, we're going to turn over Kew Gardens here. How cool is that? <laughs> A lucky charm for sure. I'll be sticking that up on my bookcase to um, hopefully summon myself at Kew Gardens in one of these hunts. But thank you so much for your letters. Next up, we have this letter. It says, Dear Christopher, my name is Harry. I recently received one of your replies and I just want to say a huge thank you for sending me five very cool stamps um, and one of your awesome tokens. Uh, those territory stems, please, and one of your magnanimity badges, which I've been wanting ever since they came out. Uh, Team Tower all the way. <laughs> In return, could you send me a cue gardens? <laughs> Only checking. All the best, Harry. Thank you so much for your letter, Harry, and thank you for the paddies at the tower. Go Team Tower. Next up, we have something with some interesting US stamps. Look at those pears. How cool are they? And some blackberries, blueberries, blackberries, blueberries, I think. Awesome. It says, Dear Christopher, as an American viewer, I thought I would send a few interesting US coins across the pond. Apologies if you already have these. I, re uh, I really have enjoyed your videos during this social distancing. Thanks. Um, enclosed. All legal tender. 2019 half dollar. Nobody uses these as they haven't been produced for circulation since 2002. I bought rolls of 2019 halves from the mint. 2017 P penny. Only penny to ever bear the P mint mark. Oh, that's cool. For the 225th anniversary of the US mint. Um, not rare, but cool. Definitely. Uh, 2,000 pennies for your collection. Uh, one from each mint. Oh, cool. Um, two or four commemorative nickels from the 2004-2005 Bicentennial Westward Journey service, uh, Services. Uh, one is the Indian uh, Peace Medal. Another, the Bison. The mm, Bison's obverse has a unique... Jefferson that only appears in 20, uh, 2005. Well, let's have a look, see. Oh, I recognize that. I've seen images of that before. Very cool, isn't it? Lovely. And then we've got this one here, along with those pennies and the half dollar. That's amazing. Thank you so much for them. We'll get the ones from the year 2000 into the pot then. There we go. They count. They count. They're from the year 2000. They count. So massive thank you for that. And I'll be sure to reply as soon as I can. Next up, we have this one. It says, Dear Chris, a few more stamps. Oh, Robert Roberts. Robert Roberts. Thank you so much. A few more stamps for you and a few old coins. The one pound coin has got some extra bits on it. Thought you might like to have it. I'm sending you some banknotes to swap for one of the bags that you have got. I tried to get them changed, but no one will give out their change. Uh, so will you have the notes and a self-addressed package? Let me know how much it costs to send the coins back. Thanks, Robert Roberts. Look at these stamps. Some awesome ones there. Look how colourful they are. Beauties. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Wow. So we've got 1875 wide date. Ooh. I don't, much, I don't know much about the variants. That's an 1847 farthing. Wow. We've got a Queen Victoria threepen threepence. And the pound coin's got some bit of extra on it. 
Ouais, 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 ouais. ouais. I'm not sure I spotted. Bit of extra on it. Mm, you have to let me know in the comments. I can't spot it immediately, but I don't hunt through pound coins, to be fair, so I might be missing it. And we've got two more coins for the year 2000. Thank you so much, Robert Roberts. That's very kind of you. We'll get these into the pot. In they go. Thank you so much. Well then, that wraps this up for this episode. We've still got a whole heap of stuff in the carry bag <laughs> of items that have been kindly sent in. So if yours hasn't appeared today, my apologies, but we will be uh, on it soon, I'm sure. Um, a massive thank you to everyone that's been so kind as to send these awesome coins, awesome letters in. It thoroughly does make my day. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.